Oh, come on, you better get something down here. No, I can't really. Are you hurt there? No, I just feel a bit sick. Oh. I'll finish your tea. Martin hadn't been drinking, had he? No. No, honest. We'd only had a lemonade each and a cup of tea when we got there. All right. All right. I just wish I could remember what happened. Don't worry, love, you will. Did you get any sleep last night? Yeah. Well, yeah, I did. I don't feel tired. Well, you're lucky. So drink that up and we'll get you home and get you to bed. I'm not going home. Not till I see Martin. Now, what can you do if you see him? Don't be silly. Come on, up. Rita, he stayed with me. He watched me win and he looked after me. He looked after you? It wasn't his fault. Rita, I know it wasn't his fault. I've got to be sure he's all right. All right. Well, yeah. Get yourself a taxi. And as soon as you've seen Martin, you come home. Do you hear what I say? Yeah, I will. As soon as I see him, I'll come home. Promise. Are you sure you're all right? Yes, don't worry. Well, ring me at the shop if you need me. And don't forget, as soon as you've seen Martin... I'll come home. I'll make sure you do. Hey, Rita wasn't in hospital all night, was she? No, Alf brought her back. Oh, it was you that took her, was it? Aye, uh, what time was she rang us? Oh, going on for 12. Mm, yeah, oh, it was after one when I got back here and all that. Anyway, she had a couple of hours in bed and I took her back at seven. Well, you did a fair bit of running about then. Well, Rita's an old girlfriend, isn't she? It's the least it could do. So, um, how were they when you left the kids? Oh, well, I didn't actually see them myself, you know, but uh, according to Rita, Jenny's all right. Well, she's got cuts and bruises, like, mm. but they are worried about the lad. He hadn't regained consciousness when we left. Oh, that's a shame, isn't it? He's a nice little lad and all. Well, Gail will be upset. She thinks a lot of him. Oh, Rita will be upset and all. He wrote the car off, you know. I mean, they're all alike, these young lads. You put them behind the wheel of a car, they think they know everything. You take it from me. If you see a car blazing around the corner, ten to one, it's a young lad behind the wheel. Oh, Alfie, come on, Martin's not like that. They're all like that, Lilith. They've got that much confidence in themselves. That's the trouble. Look, let's just be thankful nobody got killed. Well, yes. Exactly. yes. Is uh, Nicky looking forward to his birthday party? Oh, I should think so, yeah. He's going to be tired out, though he's had a lovely time with us, hasn't he, Alfie? Oh, I. Well, don't worry, we'll look after him. I've got a smash his bread laid on and I've made his favourite chocolate cake and, uh, well, he won't go short of presents either. I bought him one of them bopper hoppers and our Brian's bought him a lovely drum kit. A toy one. A drum kit? Oh, well, he's only with us another couple of days, Al. Oh, Nicky by himself's bad enough, but Nicky in a drum kit. Oh. Well, uh, he could start with me, if you like. No, it's all right. Look, look, take no notice of my husband. Grumbling's his hobby. He loves him, really, don't you? Oh, of course <laughs> I do, I. Right, well, uh, see you about five o'clock, then, eh? Yeah, all right, I'll Thanks. see you Ciao. then. Oh, Bye. Bye. Favourite chocolate cake. Do you really think he's going to get a flipping drum kit? Oh, shut up, Al. Look, do you think we should ring the hospital, oh. see if they'll tell us anything? They never do, love, they never do. How's he going on? He's still unconscious. So you can't talk to him yet, can you? The girl's still here, is she? She's in the waiting area. I'll go and have a word with her, then. If out happens, give us a shout, OK? If I've got time, yes. Just don't bother me. We've got other patients here, you know. Just do your best, love. I'll get it, I'll get it. No right. one move. Run the rest of these don't pots, Mrs. O. Well, they'll not get washed up sitting on the table, will they? No need for your sarcasm. Yes. Only asked. Oh, Thanks very much, Tom. Oh, what's he doing here? He's brought his record player for tonight. Oh, he's condescended to come, has he, then? <laughs> not being so clever, what's going to become you? Is that all you've brought? A few LPs? We can't get very merry on them, can we? <laughs> yeah, but you can get hilarious on Lois Dad's own brew, and we're bringing a couple of bottles each. Oh, shut up! You mean shut up? No need for your shushing, I'm not deaf. Still got all my facilities, thank you very much. <coughs> and seeing as it's New Year's Eve, I don't mind you having a drink, so long as you don't go mad. Now, would we, I ask you? I mean, have you ever known me to do anything daft, eh? Have you? Do you know what? You're not such a bad dancer for your young fella. <laughs> Should see me in my sequin frock, Mrs. Uh, it's Mr. Sugden! Uh, 
A bearer of bad news, I'm afraid. That young lad from Cathy, Martin, and uh, the paper girl, what's her name? Jenny. Uh, Jenny. Uh, they've been in a car crash. They're in oh. Salford Royal. Oh, they're never. When did this happen, then? Sometime last night, so I'm told. Was it on the way back from Rochdale? Weren't they going to Rochdale to a talent contest or something? Well, I don't know the details, love. I do know they are in hospital and he's far worse off than her. Oh. Well, one less for the party. Oh, the poor kids. There's always something that goes wrong Christmas and New Year, isn't there? Mm. It's as though fate was making us pay for our happiness. Yeah. Well, I'll be off. I'm making my way down the street. Uh, I'll keep you abreast of further development. Yes, you do, Percy. Right, yeah. Oh, there's always some at... Still, they'll be getting looked after there. Oh, yeah, if they're in Salford Royal, they're in good hands. Mm. I know it's not easy, love, but try and tell me what you can remember. Well, we were driving down this road and it was dark and... We were listening to the radio, there was some music playing. And then, I don't know what happened, we, we just sort of swerved and next thing I knew, we were upside down. But you managed to get out? Yeah, I don't know how I did it, but I managed to get out and then I dragged Martin out and then a car stopped and a man got out and helped us. And then the next thing I knew, the ambulance arrived and that's it. I mean, I don't know how it happened. I mean, we weren't going fast or anything. Oh, we know that. There were no skid marks. So it doesn't look as though he was speeding. Had he been drinking? Alcohol? <laughs> no, no. I don't think there was any in the place. We'd only had a lemonade and tea. Right. I think that'll be all for the time being. I'll have a word with the lad when he comes to. Uh, if you see your sister looking for me, I'll be in the canteen. Okay. Yeah, I'll tell her. It's just come round, sister. Okay. Hello. Hi. Decided to come back to us, have you? How are you feeling? It's uh, <clears throat> a bit woozy. Mm, I bet you are. Right, don't run away and we'll let the doctor have a look at you. Find Dr. Faulkner. Ryan? Yeah? Don't let's have any trouble when they come for the teas, love. I won't cause any trouble. Well, Audrey's gone up at you again. I know, I know how easily you fly off the handle, love. Don't get me at it, Mother. If anybody's going to fly off the handle, it's going to be you. Well, are you surprised? She behaves like flipping lady muck. Anyway, she can do what she likes today. She's not going to note out to me. It's Nicky's birthday and nothing's going to spoil it. So I want you to get a grip on yourself. Don't want you misbehaving. I wasn't going to. All right, then make sure you don't. What's that? Yes, Percy. Is your mother in? She is, yeah. What is it, Percy? Only we're a bit busy. Don't worry, I'm, I'm not stopping. I just thought I'd like to keep you acquainted with the local news. There's been an accident. That daughter of Alan Bradley's. I know, Percy. How was he when he woke up? Oh, fine. A bit pale, but then... Dr Faulkner's with him now, so he'll be all right. He's a very good doctor. Can I see him? Dr Faulkner? No, Martin, your friend. <laughs> oh, I don't know, love. You'll have to ask sister. And speak of the devil. I was just... Nurse, nurse. Where's well, that policeman? I don't know. Did he have a word with you? He said he was going to. Yeah, he did. Did he say where he was going? No, he just... just went. <sighs> he asked for cooperation, and this is the way they behave. Go and find him, nurse. Tell him he can talk to the boy now. Yes. Can I see my friend? Please. Not at the moment, dear. I don't want him excited. He's not out of the wood yet. Look, please, just for a minute, then I'll go straight home. All right. Come on. You've got a visitor. Two minutes. Thanks. How are you? Not so bad. A bit wobbly. How are you? Oh, I'm fine. But the policeman's been asking me questions, Martin, and he's coming to see you. What did you tell him? Well, I didn't want to get you into any trouble, so I didn't say anything about the lay-by, so I didn't say that I was driving either. I just said that we were listening to the radio. Mm. Suddenly, the car swerved. Next thing I knew, we'd turned over. I mean, you could have swerved, couldn't you? I mean, dazzled by a headlamp or something. Well, you could have, couldn't you? Yeah, all right. I'll tell him that's what happened. I didn't want to get you into any trouble, Martin. 
It's a good night, though, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, great. Have you seen your mum and dad yet? Well, the sister's ringing them, you know. So they'll be here soon. I think you'd better go now, young lady. You can come and see him again. Is there anything you want specially? Thanks. Hey, everything will be all right, OK? See you. See you. Nice and warm in our home and all. It's just them few yards down the street. How's the birthday, boy? Oh, then, he's eh? smashing. Oh. He ate all his dinner. I've got a drum kit. Oh, well, <laughs> yeah. did you hear that, Granddad? He's got a drum kit. Ah, so I see. And you got all those lovely presents at home, aren't you? You're lucky little boy. Has he been any trouble? No, no, love, not a bit. Mind you, he never is here, is he, Brian? No. No, he's fine. Right, well, uh, Come on, then, let's sit ourselves down. Give me a call, Tom. Oh, right. <laughs> My only sunshine, you can be happy So she couldn't be sent to girl, then? Audrey, you couldn't have kept her away. She's fright to death of Ivy getting her claws into little Nicky. Well, I would have thought Brian was more of a problem in our department. Do you know, for a clever fella, you can be dead stupid sometimes. When it comes to possessiveness, parents can't hold a candle to your grandmas and grandpas. Then you know what Audrey's like at the best of times. Yeah, poor old Alf. Read the riot act, was he? If Ivy wants to keep him overnight, it's no. He's coming with us, drum kit or no drum kit. Oh, yes, love. Oh, very good, that. I just like him. How do these chaps manage to let themselves get dominated by their wives? Wouldn't have to you, would it, love? It wouldn't, no. Anyway, I think it's dead wrong trying to dominate your husband. Oh, I'm glad you think that. Yeah, it's much more fun twisting him around your little finger. <laughs> <laughs> May I say how nice it is to see a happily married couple? Oh, certainly, Percy, as loud as you like. I'd like to buy you a drink give you the day and the date. No, Percy. Let me buy you a drink. I mean, it's New Year for all of us, you know. Well, you're absolutely right, as usual, and thank you very much. Now, Betty, uh, same again for Deirdre and myself and whatever Percy's having. Been uh, infiltrated, have you? I walk straight into it. Do me a favour. If you're still there in half an hour, shout fire. I'll do better than that, lovey. I'll bring the drinks round and I'll chuck his all over him. Betty, whatever happened to the milk of human kindness? Well, work here more than ten minutes, love. Curdles. <laughs> <laughs> but it, it, it's not as though we've got an extension, is it? I mean, the place will be empty by 11 o'clock. They'll be sat home watching the television. Go on, give us early now. Jack, light of my life, me and Betty will be working ourselves silly until we close. Now, we'd be very happy if you would muck in. To take it a step further, we'd be glad if you would care to join us for a staff drink after we've shut shop. Never mind Hilda's party. That'll be all kids. And I shall be asking Hilda to come here. Now, the chances are a couple of my girlfriends will be dropping in, so... We'll be having one or two quiet drinks in the comfort of my own home. What do you say? Well, I'll be the only fella. Embarrassed, are you? Do you want me to rustle up some more? No, 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 that'll manage. But what about... Um... Don't say it. Not a word to your Vera. <laughs> Uh, this might interest you, Mrs. Turpin. I was just telling Ken's good lady that girl who's been in the accident is back with Mrs. Pertle. Oh. Has been since this morning. Come back in a taxi. <laughs> you don't miss much, do you, Percy? At this time of the year, Mrs. Barlow, with all the villains in the world on the loose, I miss nothing. So rest easy in your beds. Well, she slept most of the time since she came back from the hospital. Couldn't sleep very well last night. Oh, would you try to tell me she did? Ah. 
Well, um, I just thought you might like this uh, little cake with your cup of tea. Oh, thank you. It's not much, but, well, little things can bring a lot of pleasure at times, can't they? They can, Hilda, they certainly can. And uh, if you feel like popping round later on, you know, take your mind off things, you'd be more than welcome. You and all, Rita. I don't think so, Hilda. I don't think she's up to parties yet, no. and I think I'd better stay with her. Thank you. All right. Well, uh, if you think better of it, you know. <laughs> Any old love, nice to hear you feeling better. Thank you, Mrs. Ta-da. Bye-bye. Thanks, Hilda. Very right. kind of you. I'll see myself. Out. All right, love. Travel right. now, then. You didn't want to go, did you? No. Can I stay up with you, though? I mean, it is New Year's Eve. Of course you can. And we'll get the booze out later. Be devils. Mm. I don't want to go home. You're not going home. You went to your Nana Audrey's. Uh, listen, love, uh, why don't you start? You can put him to bed and let New Year in with us. No, I'll get off home. Tell you the truth, I'm not feeling too hot myself. Oh, love it. Now you're going to be all right. Look, I can come home with you. Yeah, no, I'm fine. I'm just a bit tired, that's all. Are you going to say thank you to your Nana thank Ivy? Thank you for having me. God bless you, darling. Good boy. Ta-ra. Happy New Year, everybody. Happy, Happy New, New Year. Ta-ra. Ta-ra. No. See you, Nick. Brian. Why didn't you ask her to stop? What do I do at midnight, eh? You've got to kiss and wish her Happy New Year. What we daft, Mother? It's not me who's daft, Brian. If you had any sense, that's just what you would be doing. Right, who wants another drink? Oh, oh. thanks. Thank you. Nice party, Mrs Ogden. Oh, thank you very much. Who are you? Bernie Smallwood. The Honourable, actually, but I've renounced my title. I'm a mate of Terry's. Oh, Having a few drinks with the staff. A bit quieter. More your age, Ruth. Come on, yes, Cock, get your coat on. I can't leave this lot. Of course you can. They don't want you. Oh, oh yes, yes, we do. do. Oh, no, we don't. Oh, yes, we do. Oh, isn't it nice to be wanted? Oh, Betty's doing cheese dips. Go on, you've got to enjoy yourself, Mrs. O. All right, then. Now, mind you, behave yourselves. Hey, we will behave yourselves. Mrs. Ogden, I'll make sure that I am. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Let's get the rest of them balls open. Come on. Hey, it doesn't much matter, love. We've run out. We've what? Well, we hardly had any to start off with, didn't we? He's been suffering it like he's going out of fashion. Oh, he always goes out at the top. Right, that's just where I'm going. Over the top, and I'm taking no prisoners. Where are you going? I'm going for some booze. Where do you think I'm going? The band of hope? There's nowhere open this time or not. Ah, uh, you want a bet, mate? See you later. <laughs> Not for each other. That's his trouble. Yeah, you see, it's all to do with your metabolism. I mean, he doesn't look too bad, he doesn't even sound too bad, but if the truth be known, he's smashed out of his skull. You see when the time comes. One more drink and splat. You better not be here when that happens. Yeah, I was just thinking that. Hey, I'll see you on, sweetheart. Oh, no, you won't. Where's the girl you came with? She's up to got bored. Yeah, I'm not surprised. Enjoy. Hey, hang on a minute, mate. Don't. Sally, someone at the door. I'll oh, get it. Sorry, oh, mate. It's not locked. I couldn't open the door carrying this lock, could I? You see ya, boys? Hey, Teddy, Teddy. 
Hey, where'd you get that lot of dogs? Come on, off, mate. Where do you think? Oh, is it open? Still is, mate. Now, come on, let's get these balls the same way. Don't be shy. You better get your trainers on and get jogging. Rambo's on the loose. Yeah. I can see that. Hey, I'll tell Bernie and he'll take you on. Oh, God, no. Okay. Go on, you can have to do Do us a favour. Take Rosalind on. She's in lobby. Definitely my pleasure. And don't bang the on it. And don't say to Terry, we don't want any trouble. I'm not scared of Terry. Hey, Terry, I'm taking your bird home, OK? No problem, mate. Say me the trouble. Hey, where's my glass? Here, yeah, who said it? It's only once a year. Hey, have you seen the town? Mm. Come on, Alf, you're supposed to be first footing. Oh, I suppose so. I always get lumbered with this job. Well, you shouldn't be so dark and handsome. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Now, then, right, I've got my whiskey yeah. in my pocket, so right. I need a lump of bread, please. Oh, yeah. Or a potato or something. Yeah. And a lump of coal. Uh, we don't use a lot on gas fire, Alf. Come on, you do less. <laughs> hey, don't ever dye your hair, because you'll get double new money on every New Year's Eve, I'm telling you. Come on, you drunk. <laughs> See you there, <laughs> There we are, love. Now. Yeah? You know, your dad will have had his New Year about four hours back. I hope he has a good one. I hope we all do. Cheers. I know we're going to teach other, but we do both want the same thing, don't we? Of course we do. Of course we do. Happy New Year, and God bless all who shop in you. <laughs> <laughs>